Well, I've been involved in uh, beef cattle production and livestock parasitology now for about 30 years. Currently, my wife and I own and operate a commercial Red Angus herd in LaRue County, Kentucky. Over the years, I've developed a good appreciation of both the practical and the scientific aspects of parasites in cattle. A seasonal control program where we're controlling and preventing pasture contamination by the worms allows the cattle to gain according to their genetics and nutrition. In an environment such as central Kentucky, where we have almost year-round grazing, the cattle will be exposed to worm infections throughout the year. And when we have conditions that favor grass growth, we also have conditions that favor the development and transmission of worms to our cattle. A spring deworming is followed by many folks, and that makes sense. But follow-up deworming is also needed that will help ensure maximum weight gains on their calves uh, through the summer or on their stockers in the case of heavier cattle. Because as these cattle are grazing spring grass, they're picking up worm infections. In this day and age, labor is a big factor. Many of our producers have got herds on different sites, so they can't possibly work all of these cattle when the time is right. And yet the long-term benefits of a follow-up deworming during the grazing season are well documented economically. Over the years, I've looked for options, and the, one of the most practical, easy, cost-effective ways I've come up with is since I'm feeding mineral on a weekly basis, I now incorporate a dewormer into my free choice mineral so the cattle can deworm themselves. When I'm getting ready to deworm my herd, what I'll do is I'll let mineral, the normal mineral I'm using, run low. Then I'll put out the free choice mineral with the safeguard dewormer in it, and over a six day period, the herd will deworm themselves. For pastured cattle, whether we're talking stocker cattle or cow-calf herds throughout the country, if they're on pasture, they're going to be having access to free choice mineral, providing that to their herds. And it's such a simple concept to deworm through the free choice mineral. It really fits most operations. Our University of Kentucky recommendation to deworm late June, early July for our spring calving herds comes at a time when it's pretty hot and humid and it's, it's stressful on the cattle and us producers to work the cattle at that time of the year. I'm feeding mineral each week anyways. It takes me 15, 20 minutes to put mineral out to my cattle. So I'm investing that time anyways. When I deworm, it's not taking me any extra time. I don't have to round up a couple of people, run the cattle through the processing facilities. So this is an ideal time to work in the free choice minerals and it just saves a tremendous amount of stress on the herd by not having to work them at that time of the year. As a parasite laboratory we do a, a lot of fecal egg counts testing the effectiveness of uh, cattle dewormers and we've had the opportunity to test a number of herds following use of the free choice mineral and we get very excellent control on deworming the herd when we examine those post-treatment fecal egg counts. It works, folks. It works very well. This is why I often term uh, this concept of uh, deworming through the free choice mineral the best kept secret in the cattle industry.